the seven year tribulation period took place over 2,000 years, about 2,000 years ago. I want you to listen to this. This is uh, Rethink the Dollar. And it's a live stream, so I caught. This is 13 minutes in. The whole thing, the Palestinians signing on to it. And once that happens. Now, this, this, let me go back a little bit more, uh, further and put this up raw like I usually do. This is somebody calling in, sound like a Jake. Well, Jake is all messed up at this uh, Christianity stuff and uh, seven year tribulation. There's not going to be no seven year tribulation where people are going to be taken up and raptured and then we're going to be on the earth and they got it all mixed up the the israelites mainly gms have understand the prophetic uh, parts of the bible we know we know it inside out upside down backwards and forwards and we see clearly what's what's going on and i was just thinking oh and another thing somebody put up uh antichrist is coming from Israel, not EU. First of all, there's no such thing as an antichrist. There's no such thing as a guy with a blue suit on. If you shave his head, there's 666 in the back of his, on the top of his head. You Christians just don't have it. Let's let's listen, though. Progress, because Trump initiated that, too. Uh, a lot of the Islamic countries or whatever are signing on to it right now. Yeah. The, the key thing is the Palestinians have not signed on to it yet. Right. And that's the key to the whole thing. The Palestinians signing on to it. And once that happens, mm -hmm. that seven year period begins. Once that happens, mm -hmm. I don't want people to get triggered at me. Okay. Just, just they can they can look this stuff up yeah. for themselves and don't get Yeah, the seven year period he's has to be talking about the tribulation, which that's something that the Christian Born againers community came up with, which uh, they go to uh, Daniel the ninth chapter, starting at the twenty fourth verse and read down really to the end. You know, twenty. Uh, I think that's the twenty goes down to the twenty eighth verse, twenty ninth verse, or whatever. But uh, that already took place. That took place. That that uh, in the middle of the week is talking about during the time of uh, Vespasian, Titus. Um, well, Titus uh, uh, defeating uh, the Israelites, and then some of us fleeing in Europe, some of us fleeing in Africa. That already took place. There's that so the Christians don't know what's going on. Let's listen to a little bit more. Matt, Steve, you got a bigger fight to fight if you want to argue with God. And yeah. what, but anyway, I'll run through this real quick. I'm not sure which one of these takes place first because the Bible's not real clear on it. Yeah. It's not clear to you because you don't understand the scriptures. I mean, you're trying. I give it to you for trying. You wouldn't write book. But um, everything's laid out perfectly. You just, the most I has to open up your spiritual eyes to see it. Uh, they took uh, one video down, a part two of, uh, what's the name of it? I'm not going to look for it, but uh, it, says, it has something to do with... Uh, these guys are false prophets. No, if they if you don't believe that the I believe the mark of the beast is the microchip, then you're a false prophet. And it was a two part the the second part was uh not even two minutes long. It was like something like a a minute and um thirty something seconds long. And uh because the camera that I use, it automatically cuts scenes, like seven, about 17 minutes, and it cuts to the next scene, or 16 plus seconds, and it cuts to the next scene. So I put it up raw, um, so it came up into two parts. And the second part, I didn't say nothing. I said two things, it, pretty much in that video. I said, uh, don't take the V, and don't, and don't accept the C. Now you figure out what am I talking about. And that's why he took it down. Because I said those two things. I listened to it the whole minute and change. I didn't curse nobody out. I wasn't racist. I didn't show any hate. Because they're looking for people 
that speak about the V and the ultimately the C. Now, in closing, I just want to make this statement because I was going to do another video, but I'll just say it now. They're going to, they really pushing, they're really pushing this uh, thing, the V thing. They forget about the testing. They're pushing the V, and then that's going to, the V is going to turn into the C. And um, I'm sounding like uh, Richard Pryor. On Sesame Street. The, the Z of the game. Inside joke. Anyway. um, They want to push it. Through the military. Hopefully. December. And as soon as they get. Enough to. Uh, to V everybody. And they'll probably take this down. The al algorithm will get me. And they want to V everybody. As soon as possible. They want to roll out. And they want to V everybody as soon as possible. Which makes me think of uh, second, um, Ezra's uh, 16. They shall be like madmen sparing none but spoiling and destroying them that uh, trust in the Lord. I'm just paraphrasing. And it says, then it shall be, goes on to say, then it shall be known who are my chosen. The way things are going, the pace of this situation, Jacob's trouble, you ask yourself, are we in Jacob's trouble? No, we're not in Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble comes when they give you the V and they go to give you the C and um, that would be before 2021 or 2021 2021 is going to make in my opinion my spiritual opinion is going to make uh, 2020 look like a uh, walk in the park you know a day at, at the mall It's gonna it's gonna escalate. And they have to push it on people because they know people are not gonna take it. So will we be in a kingdom? Will the destruction come in the year twenty twenty? I think so. I think so. This is how close we are. But that but but let it come, let it happen. Let it happen. You got to be put in a, in a concentration camp. Be put in a concentration camp. You got to live out in the woods. Live out in the woods. Because everything is coming fast. And so when they push the V and then the C. That's, then, you, then you're going to know that that's the time of Jacob's trouble. And what What happens? During the time of Jacob's trouble, that's when the Lord comes back and mentions Michael in uh, Daniel, the, the 12th chapter. See, we don't have to do no long, drawn-out uh, lessons. We're just hitting these fine points in, in the scriptures. We're hitting these prophecies because these the last few prophecies are coming to pass. So we're doing these quick um, videos on these different things. You know, these, these prophecies. We are in the time of prophecies. We are in the fulfillment. We're in the middle of the fulfillment of what's written in the book of Revelation. What's written in the book of Daniel, Jeremiah, uh, Daniel 12, Isaiah. These are the last few prophecies. Anyway, like I said, I'm not going to make this long. Um, it's on to the next one. And I hope they don't take this down. Uh, Shalom.